hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we will see that how to get union of two linked list okay so union means let's say we have one linked list where we have 37 8 13 and 18 and in another linked list we have 18 14 and 8 now 8 and 18 they both are repeating right so we don't want repeating element we just want that what all element are covered in both the linked list so that is known as union right so what you will do for that will we have written a function so we are calling it as get union and we are passing the head one and head two which is the first linked list and this is second linked list right so just start the function and just debug it and we'll see it so this is first linked list which is 37 8 13 and 18 and this is another linked list which is 18 14 and 8 okay let's go into this so first we are doing that first we are sorting the linked list because the sorting after the sorting it is the most efficient once we have, once we sort the linked list then it is very easy and uh, we should not say easy but it's very efficient and we have very less complexity when we sort the element and if you want to see that how to sort the element then please see my previous videos and you will find the sorting the linked list so you sort the linked list then again you sort the linked list so now both linked list are sorted so if you see this then we have 8 because earlier it was 8 so now you can see 8 13 18 and 37 this is a first link list and if you see second link list this has become 8 14 and 18 right now both link list are sorted now go into our function where we have merged with union a and b so we are passing both the link lists and this is our temporary node which we will use to link our uh, to link our temporary link list so now go here this is how we create this okay so we are traversing until both list are null okay and we are checking that whichever element is less then put this into the link of this temp so temp dot next will point to that element else and also and because if a is less than it means traverse to a to the next position if b is less than a then traverse the b position and it let a remain at that position right so whichever element is lower we we put that position into temporary list and then we traverse it to the next position so this is a logical follow but if if that element contains in both the both the link list then then we put that link into the one of the, into the temp and then we traverse both the link list right so you can see here when a was lesser then we were traversing on the the a to the next one when b was lesser then we were traversing only b to the next one but but when this element contains in both the link list then we are traversing to the both and we are keeping the one element right so we are keeping the temp dot next to a and at the end we also point to temp equals to temp node so temp so temp is the value which will traverse and which will link all the element which will be our new link list which is our new link list right and at the end suppose if if a finishes early or b finishes early then we then we just link the temp dot next to the rest of the link list right and at the end we'll return the final list dot next so just finish this so now we have the sorted link list so now a is mm, okay so now because uh, b is 8 and a is also 8 so both are equal so now it will point to the so net temp dot next will point to a and a and b both will traverse to the next position and temp will also point to temp next now what is a so now a is 13 and b is 14 okay so now a is less than so now this will happen okay now what is a now a is 18 and b is 14 so now b is b is lesser so b will point to the next position in this case okay 
now let's see what is a is 18 and b is 18 okay both are equal so now it will go in else condition okay and both a and b will traverse to the next position now a is 37 and b is null okay so now it will go out of the loop and it will tempt to next will point to the 37 at the end and what is the final list we have so final list we have 0 then 8 then 13 then 14 and then 18 and then 37 so if we just return the final list dot next this will be our final link list so print the list and you can see this that we have get then we have got the union and no elements are repeating right so that's it for this tutorial and we have got the union of linked list so thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you